everybody. So I'm back. I've been studying for a while and I'm now back and I'm all yours. And this video I'm bringing you um, part two of raincoats. So last year's um, video that I did was very popular. Um, so I kind of thought that people are interested in seeing what uh, raincoats, rain max are around because let's face it, especially in England, we have a lot of rain. <clears throat> so I've looked to see what's in the shops for 2019. Actually, very similar to what was in the shops in 2018. So I think what's happened this year is we've gone away from the more um, traditional yellows uh, and we've gone a little bit more floral, a bit more patterned. Having said that, there are a lot of yellow Romax still in the shops. So what I've done first of all is I've shown you all the yellow ones and then we've moved on to a few more sort of different types, patterns. So I still use my Packamac it's my Primark one, nine pounds. But as I said in my last video, this will only protect you from a smattering of rain, and that is it. It's useless other than that, because you do get wetter than uh, you were before actually using it. But what I like about it, and it's a real shame that it doesn't actually stop you getting wet, because this is kind of perfect little Packamac. It's all in there, turns into a coat. There you go, there you go, there it is. And if only that stopped you getting wet, I think that would be perfect for me. My other coat I've got is, um, this is a Jack Wolf skin. Now this is material that a lot of them are made of, a lot of the Macs that we're gonna look at. Um, it is thicker, it does stop you from getting wet, but this Mac isn't long enough, so it only comes down to uh, just past um, my waist. And if you've got torrential rain hammering at you, that will not keep you particularly dry. So my advice really is to go for, I say, three quarter length Mac. Still easy enough to kind of, um, you know, chuck in the back of the car or whatever. Um, but it will keep you a lot drier. So let's have a look at 2019 collection of raincoats. Um, yeah, let's take a look. I'm starting off this section with a classic yellow rain mag. These cover all the bases and they'll stay on trend because of their, well, classicness. If you're buying a raincoat because you just think you're going to need it occasionally and you want to keep it over the next few years, then a good quality yellow rain mag is going to serve you well and stay in fashion. So this one from Primark, slightly heavier than my rain mag, so will keep you drier. Um, next version here in yellow has got a lining, so will keep you warm but it does only come up to your waist as you'll see on this mannequin. So uh, anything below your waist is gonna get wet. This one is slightly longer. It's rubber type material, which will keep you reasonably dry. So good for summer showers, but not great for keeping you warm in the autumn months. Grab a bargain from Debenhams. This is really good quality and a good price. Once again, it's only gonna keep you dry on top. Asda, love them. The material is good and the jacket is three quarter length. What's not to love about this from Jules? They are more expensive than the others I've shown you, but they're good quality. If you're a dog walker outside in all weathers, it's worth investing in a good quality coat like this. Having said that, this one from Manta Ray, fabric, half the price of Jules, but just as good. So a bit more pricey, but a real twist on the classic yellow. Whether you're on your way to work or taking a walk with the dog or even off to a festival, you can't put a foot wrong with this one. It is slightly longer on length. Um, I'm definitely going to be saving up to buy one of these. And if you don't like the blue half, they've also got classic yellow too, so you can't go wrong. So now we're onto the patterns. These seem to have squeezed themselves into the shops this year. Debenhams have lots of bargains and this one's reduced to £38.50, which is pretty good. Uh, it's a good hood, which looks like it would offer quite good protection from the rain. The one from Maine has been reduced to £34.30. Again, another from Maine. Not sure really how I feel about the pattern backs, but if you're someone that doesn't like bright yellow, then these are subtle enough, um, even though they are actually patterned. This floral one from Next, really nice too. So if like me, you're not really into patterns or bright yellow really isn't your thing, there's still plenty of choices for you. Uh, this one at Debenhams, 59 pounds, quality fabric, keep you dry, stone colored jacket, go with any outfit, 
always going to look stylish, but beware of muddy paws if you're actually a dog walker. Um, I think, uh, you know, you're possibly going to get a little bit muddy there. But they've got a navy version as well, so it's all good. Another stone one from John Rosher. Really trendy, really good looking uh, coat. Stripes, not really sure what I think about the stripes but does offer a lot of protection because it's that rubber material. The light blue MAC has the festival vibe and looks super trendy. Lightweight and offers shower proof protection. I do like the simple design, just not sure about the colour. This striking red rain MAC is lovely, uh, 48 pound, but if red's a bit too garish, they do come in pastel colours too. Last year, we saw a lot of pastels, not so much this year. Now, if they still have these in Primark, grab one. It's really good quality, rubber material, even even at 18 pound it was a bargain now as you know i really rate these macs i love them but they do not keep you dry i wore my khaki version yesterday uh, when it was spotting slightly kept me dry as soon as it got slightly heavier i got soaking wet and the reason for that is because the uh, the material just clings to you which just makes you wetter Every in Oxford Street, pop into Uniqlo. They have a large range of rain mats and reasonable prices. Really not sure what I think about these transparent mats. They look like they offer reasonable protection, but I just don't know whether they are for me. This Urban Outfitters version isn't quite see-through, so slightly better. But, oh, I don't know. I can't really see myself actually wearing one. So I hope you enjoyed the 2019 collection. I do like the yellow Max. I think probably the Primark one the, uh, for £18, I think, is probably, I felt the material, it is good, it's good for festivals, it's good for going for a walk, but it is only just past your waist. I think you're really looking for the longer ones, the ones maybe in Asda, really good value, £35. Or you can really bag some bargains, can't you, in Debenhams at the moment. So get out there, get yourself a rain mat because you will not be wasting your money. Rain mats always, always come in handy. And I think if you stick with the yellow, that's always going to be popular. That's always going to be in fashion. So, um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you've got any ideas that you want me to bring, then please let me know um, and I'll bring them to you. Anyway, bye for now.